I started my first business, I began to move less and to sit more. We are here to lead physical lives. I'm determined to raise this game. The first lesson I learned is that you can change your body, you can change your life. How old am I? Yeah, berapa umur saya? Uri, uri, and now I'm a little. Lulu. Lesson complete. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the most beautiful day of your life. Look at the mountains. They are glowing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Mountain glow. Mountain glow. Let's go to Amu. Yeah. Yeah. Amu. Amu, Amu, Amu. Mm. Oh, this is ja so schön rosa. Schön, ne? Das sieht oh gut aus. Du musst nicht runterfällt, ne? Oh, das sieht aber schön aus. Oh, no. Oh, eine Ananas. One more, huh? Wow. Und ein Haar. Friends, yesterday I made the decision to take care better of my body. The physical entity that gifts me with all these experiences and I sense that despite all the super clean diet and the high quality of sleep and the natural environment and everything that I'm gifting my body with which is super nice there is an essential part that is not at its place right now and that is the strength and the muscularity and the fitness that my body possesses and I'm determined to raise this game to a completely different level to a level that was never present in my entire life so far but before I want to tell you my personal fitness story and what will be the next step and why actually I am doing all that I want to share with you what inspired me big time to make this decision This is an excerpt of the rapid response format in the Masters of Scale podcast. And Airbnb founder Brian Chesky gets interviewed about the radical transformation of his physical appearance. Let's listen to a couple of seconds. I started weightlifting. And I, I remember telling my friends when I was 17, they were kind of like playfully teasing me that I was like super skinny. I said, well, I'll be the most muscular teenager in the country in two years. And two years later, I was the seventh most muscular teenager in the country. I competed in the, what, what, what basically the Teenage Mr. America was called the MDC Teenage Nationals and Collegiate Nationals. And I, I learned two lessons from bodybuilding that I brought to tech. The first lesson I learned is if you can change your body, you can change your life. It was almost like you can change your life and you can start. Let's stop here. In two years, he completely transformed his body just because he made the decision to do so. And this enabled his entrepreneurial path big time because it provided him with the self-esteem and with the energy level in order to be able to build Airbnb a like, multi-billion dollar company. And there's a side effect that teaches us that good things don't come overnight. Building a strong physique is a an endeavor that takes years and years and years of continuous practice of patience and of dedication and all these factors together inspired me to really go all in
are invited to live physical lives instead of going to the gym each and every day. Just live a life where you need to use your body for opening coconuts, for carrying children, for planting trees, for cutting down trees, for, for carrying wood, for chopping wood, for like building houses, for like all the basic things that we need in order to live. Like this is what our bodies are made for. Not for lifting weights that don't need to be lifted or running on treadmills that lead nowhere. Like we are here to lead, to lead physical lives. Bon appétit. Okay, let's go. All right, I'd like to share my personal fitness journey with you. Like as a child, I played a lot of football. Like uh, basically every day playing football was was my life. I spent like hours upon hours with my friends just being outside, uh, outdoors, <laughs> hanging around at the football pitch and um, like I always, no matter with whom I played, I always was one of the, one of the most skilled players. So I, I had a lot of confidence in my body and I always felt like physically powerful. I was always lean. I was never like really muscular, like I was always lean, but I was fast and I was um, really like flexible and quick and um, I developed some nice skills and yeah, so like this, this like my, my childhood and my, my teenage years were like characterized by a lot of confidence in my body and I never had injuries. I, yeah, I was really like thriving physically. And then in 2013, when I started my first business, I began moving, I began to move less and to sit more. <laughs> and when I look back into the past 11 years as an entrepreneur, like I never developed a continuous like movement routine. There were always like times for like three months here, half a year here where I did freeletics or I had a nice gym routine with a friend or but I never really felt as physically thriving as I did in my teenage and years and in my childhood. And this is something that I deeply miss because this feeling of having like a, a very physically active day and then going to bed at, at night and being like physically exhausted and at the same time feeling like full of bliss because you are so active and having this great confidence in your body and and, and even like you i sense that in these like little moments when i look at my son leo he's always active he's always like he, he's never walking he's always running he's he's always like jumping he's always like, he's never just walking slowly he's always like in the movement he always moves more than he needs to and this is something that I observe in many, many children. Like my little brother was like was the same uh, when he when he was a child. He was always like jumping, dancing, running, moving, and not just like walking. And we adults we try to use as less calories as possible and get the most in the most efficient way from A to B. But through that we lose the sense of this whole joy of movement. And this is something that I want to rekindle. Good morning, Ma. Hello, hello. Almost done with my 300 push-ups for the day. Yesterday was day one, today is day two. That's very good. It feels like a significant step towards integrating the guardian archetype. One of the four archetypes of true custodianship is the guardian. And the guardian is the realization of our ultimate physical potential because if we realize this physical potential then this gifts us with the power to protect what we believe in to protect what is sacred 
to be able to say no to set boundaries and to stand for what we believe in fundamental ability for birthing the more beautiful world so that it doesn't get trampled over by some forces and instead we are able to say like no this little seedling this little little plant that's just like starting to grow i will protect this with everything i have and everything i am so that's why i believe realizing our full physical potential is of utmost importance for our confidence for embodiment of the inner guardian and many more components and until i have a food forest <laughs> i'm living in where I can develop this full physical potential in an absolutely natural way while just conducting um, the physical life that this living in this environment gifts me with. I will start with a 300 push-ups a day challenge. That's what I'm going to do for the next week. Let's see where this leads. I will keep you updated. Maybe that's an invitation for you to check in how fully you are at maximum physical potential and maybe there's something that wants to be leaned towards maybe that's an invitation to challenge yourself too and to live a more active life to live a more physical life to live a life that is more grounded in actual reality another step that helps is being barefoot which is my reality almost um since a year yeah I think maybe even a little bit longer. I even did the visa run to Kuala Lumpur without shoes, which was a beautiful experience. <laughs> All right, friends, that's it for today. I feel powerful. Even just at day two of prioritizing my physical, thriving more, gives me with a deep sense of power, deep sense of strength and ability and confidence. Yeah. Thank you for embarking on this journey together. Let me know what you feel challenged to do, to embark on. Looking forward to hear from you. See you tomorrow. By the way, have you seen this already? I showed you in one of my last episodes that in this beautiful place I'm working um, right now, Nadi. One of my favorite spots here in this area. Guys, custodians is present. Look at that. How beautiful. <laughs> Seeing my book next to so many handcrafted and nice things is a, is a profound gift. <laughs>